What up guys? Andrew from Red Oak Carpentry here. Just wanted to show you guys how to calculate hip backing angles. Um, you can always Google this and say, hey Siri, what's a five pitch hip backing angle? And you can probably find that information pretty fast. But when you get into regular valleys, then there's not really too many shortcuts. And uh, it's nice to understand the math behind this anyways. So I'll give you guys a quick tutorial. Um, you're gonna start by just drawing your pitch. In this case, we have a hip five. And then we're gonna draw it three quarters over because that's half the thickness of our hip material. So if you had a, you know, a four by four timber, you would come over two inches or whatever the thickness is, half the thickness. So you come over half the thickness and you square over and then that distance right there is the depth of your backing angle cut. Just like that, okay? So it's pretty easy to draw, but what is that angle, right? You could try to half-ass throw your square on there and get a read on it, but it's not very accurate. So let's take a look at this blown up here. We have our same two lines, just like we had here, three quarters apart. And we know the pitch, uh, five pitch hip is 16.39. You can check that out on your square. Or if you don't know how to do that, you could take a five inch rise, 17 run, hit your pitch, and that'll tell you the angle of a hip five. Okay, so we're just gonna do a couple of triangle calculations. This is just converting triangles. It's super easy to do with right triangles. So we're gonna take that 16.39 pitch. We're gonna put in a three quarter run and we're gonna hit the rise button and see what that says. Okay, so this tells us that our rise right here going this way is 0.22. Now, unfortunately, we don't want, we wanna know the depth perpendicular to the material because our saw blade is gonna run perpendicular. So knowing the depth this way doesn't really help us once we get to the end of the board. So we've gotta convert this triangle right here to figure out what this is. So this 0.22 is the diagonal of a right triangle like so. So once again, we can use the same slope because this is the same pitch right here. This angle is the same as this angle. So 16.39 pitch. We enter our 0.22 as the diagonal and then we hit the run. And the run is 0 0.211. So that's how deep our backing angle is. So that line that we were able to figure out geometrically, now mathematically we know it's 0.211 off the edge of the material. And the reason why that's helpful is because now we have another triangle with known sides and we can calculate the actual angle here because we're 0.211 down and we're 0.75 over. So we go 0.211 as a rise, 0.75 as a run, and then we hit the pitch button, and it tells us 15.71. That is the angle of our backing, of our backing angle for our hip. So we set our saw at 15, 15 and a half, or as close as you can get it to that number, and then away you go. And that's how you figure it out. And it's the same for pretty much anything you're doing, you know, as long as you know the thickness of your material. Um, sometimes you have to work with, you know, an offset of your hip, if your hip line is shifted. But other than that, it's all pretty straightforward. You know, even for these 45 degree uh, hips here, we're just coming over the offset of 22 and a half degree angle. So we don't use three quarters of our run, we use whatever, um, whatever 22 and a half would bring us over. So anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm running out of light in here, so.
hit me up with messages if you guys have any questions.